Hello, people. So what do you get when you take Piku, you take out Deepika Padukan, Amitabh Bachchan, and Irfan Khan? You get Pihu. Ha! That was a dumb joke. But I thought I'd try it anyway. <laughs> So, Pihu, the official trailer. This is written and directed by Vinod Capri, and it's produced by Rani Skrivala and Siddharth Roy Kapoor. Subtitles have been provided by Rashi Mudalkar. Thank you, Rashi, for providing subtitles. You great subtitles make. Okay, here we go. Oh no, don't do that. Oh, girl. That's like the, uh, that's a totally different movie from Piku. <laughs> um, that, you know what that reminds me of is that film we saw with um, Rush Kumar Rao. Yeah, Trapped. Yeah, trapped. It's like Trapped Junior, but like it's way more terrifying than Trapped, I think, because at least with Trapped, you're a grown up and you can figure stuff out. She's two years old. It's, yeah, it literally is a parent's worst nightmare. I'm watching all this stuff and I'm cringing and dying inside because I'm like, oh my God, this child, like, ah. You know what I was thinking about as I was watching it too was how are they getting all this with the kid? Yeah. I mean, they got a really good little girl to pull this off. The funniest thing is she probably has no idea. No. Nope. Like the response that, that grown-ups are having to watching it. She's just having fun doing the acting stuff and doing her thing and like, People are freaking out as they're watching the trailer, and she's like, what's going on? <laughs> she's like, I'm um, just having a good time. Yeah. Uh, but, like, what happened to her mom? Like, something really bad must have happened. It looked like maybe she was attacked or something because she had those marks on her, on oh, her I wrist. Oh, didn't, I didn't catch that. Yeah, because there was one bit where she was, um, like, she was pulling on her mom's hand, like, Mom, wake up, wake up. And then I saw what looked like bruises on her arm. So I don't know if she was attacked and they just left the child or if she just died of natural causes and no one's there to take care of her. That is so freaky. And apparently it's based on a true story as well. What's interesting to me is that the filmmakers decided to make a whole movie about this and I think it's really challenging because you know, yeah. you're, you're working with a two year old. Well, you're working, it's not just, it's every stage of this is yeah. challenging. Like you're, you're dealing with a story that's you, you, difficult to write, yeah, because it's all taking place in this one location. Your, your your central character doesn't have any actual dialogue. It's all informed by just need, yeah. right? Just pure need. Whereas with normal movies, you can have a little bit of banter that's a little bit aimless and kind of talks around things because there's a lot of nuance that you can put in there. Yeah, but here, there's no nuance. It's literally just. She is speaking and, and thinking from a place of need. You have to kind of make sure that your whole story stays 
suspenseful and interesting for at least 90 minutes. Exactly. So, and that, that's the challenge as well, because right. I'm like, where's the 90 minute story right. coming well, from? I, I, you could see where it is. I mean, it's going to be a little, little bit of a slower film, like Trapped, but yeah. it's like the suspense is always there because she could easily kill herself, right? So that's the writing level. Then, yeah. then there's the working with a little girl, like you said, and directing it. <laughs> and, yeah. like, and then, you know, editing it so as to make sure that any of the tricks you're using to get the little girl to do that is not recognizable. Right, yeah. You know, it, there's a lot going on here. And then you gotta market the movie and say, we got a movie starring a two-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah. Can you watch it? Do you wanna and, and sit in the cinema like, for like an hour and a half and you, watch this? Your initial mental response to that is like, why would I? And then you see the trailer like, oh, this is good. Y yeah. You know, and it's like, it's not until you get there. This is great because it's hopefully it gets around by word of mouth. That's why we watched it is because people, yeah. keep, kept, people kept, you know, coming, coming at us in the comments going, you gotta see this trailer. And hopefully, like, this gets enough attention because it's only got like two million views. Yeah. And I mean, two million's not insignificant, but yeah. like when you compare it to like trailers that get like 10 million, 20 million, I feel like this trailer actually deserves way more views. So hopefully, people yeah. watch it and hopefully, you guys pass it around to your friends. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it, the thing you said about the little girl as well, it, it just reminded me of something that my friend who's just had a baby recently and the, the, his child is now a toddler. And uh, I was all like, oh, you know, how how's fatherhood? And he's like, yeah, you know, it's great. I'm just trying to not let my son kill himself, which is b basically this, you know, they just, they don't know. They're just doing really dangerous things all the time. And there's the hand thing you're talking about. Yeah. I don't think those bruises are indicative of anything in particular. Okay. Uh, I think that she had a heart attack and died in bed. That's my guess. There's no signs of suicide in the trailer at the very least. This is a great movie to show your kids and be like, look, no, no, <laughs> no, no. Like the whole time it's just gonna be like, no. That's why That's why often, I mean, at least in the States, uh, a child's first word is no. No, <laughs> okay. yeah, but exactly. Don't do that. This is the equivalent of my mom showing me Bangkok Hilton when I was young. No drugs. What was the most effective at uh, reminding me of Trapped and scaring me in watching the trailer was that moment when she drops the doll. Yeah. It, it, it's like Trapped was all about, you know, that height and that and how scary it was being up there. And you see the doll and it's like, it's a lot scarier, like you were saying, with a two-year-old than a grown man because she doesn't realize just how easily she can fall yeah. and the consequences they're in. I almost wonder if that's the end of the movie right there where she slips and falls like, oh God, that's oh, like- Oh no, please yeah. no. Please tell me there's a, a happy ending to this. If someone finds her or something, cause like that would just be too tragic. What's also interesting here is you don't actually know what this little girl did, even if she survived. Like you you don't actually know all the details. You kind of have to do do a lot a, a lot of guesswork yeah. based on the chaos that was left behind, right? Yeah. I mean, you do hear stories of of some little kids that, you know, are really smart and are able to to do things. Like I've heard stories of young children who their their parents are having a heart attack or something and they know to call 911 and they're like something's happening yeah. to my mom and dad can you help but i do think maybe they're a little bit older like 2 years old is just like they're still so yeah. young like even 3 4 5 yeah maybe you know but 2 like that's that's terrifying you know it's interesting how everything they showed you in the trailer was very nerve-wracking yeah for instance the fridge you know, it's this, these are all the reasons why kids are stupid. <laughs> they always try to kill themselves. Yeah. It's like she st she sticks herself in the fridge. It's just, you know how many people die that way? How many? None. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know the numbers, but it's very dangerous. Yeah, it's really dangerous. I thought I thought that was going to be the whole movie. She trapped herself in a fridge and then she died. And you I was actually and I had like a frozen baby. I was actually thinking about that. Like, wait, is this the entire story? Like the baby, she's just in there she's the whole time. Like, what do you? Fridge. How do you? How do you keep the audience entertained the whole time? Like, yeah. that, that can't be the whole movie, right? No. And the glass. Oh my god, all the broken glass in there and the water. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god, don't step out the glass. You've got bare feet. Oh my god, this is it. Those are all the reasons why I am very careful about where I put things. Even as a grown-up, you make dumb mistakes like that and stuff falls over and there's broken glass. It's like, even as a grown-up, you might do something stupid. I can only imagine an innocent two-year-old who doesn't, who doesn't know the difference between anything. Yeah. You know? 
and she doesn't know how to eat, like what to eat. She's trying well, to she make her- about the milk. Well, yeah, but then she spilled it everywhere. I almost thought it was gonna go to the scene where she's like lapping it up from the floor. It might happen. It might. But um, it, and then the, the roti the, the as roti, well. Yeah, the roti, she was trying to that make was, the roti. That was terrifying. Like that, the, the shot of like the burners coming on in the fire and I'm just like, oh no, <laughs> losing my mind. Well, the fact that she could figure that out is pretty, Cool, actually. Like, not it, her making it and almost killing herself is not cool, but like the fact that she could figure out how to turn the yeah, burner that's on. That's hard. I, I sometimes have a hard time right. turning on the damn gas stove myself. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how quickly it turns on in India, but like here, there's a like a clicking sound. It goes yeah. for a while, and then it finally turns on. And you so gotta light it. Right. The, yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, that was. Ooh. Without a doubt, one of the most interesting trailers I've seen in some in some time. It definitely put me on edge more than how I feel when I watch most horror trailers. So this to me was far more horrific. And it's based on a true story, which makes it even harder to watch. Um, uh. But like, I feel like I have to. I, I like, I definitely gotta see this because it's different. It's so different from m almost anything else we've seen. Like, what other film can you think of that's just the, you, your main character, your only character that is alive and doing things is a, is a two year old. Yeah, it's crazy. You know? You guys are filmmakers, you're crazy, but like, wow. Yeah. Bravo. And this is like, oh gosh. This, this is, uh, yes. Okay. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Check out Achara Kirk on the social media. Check out Jabby Kuei, he's on the social media too sometimes. And subscribe if you haven't already. Check out our other reactions, reviews, and short films. I am Jabby Kuei, this is Achara Kirk. Peace out.